local woman is reminded of the death of her granddaughter with every fatal fire that happens around the metro. Her message tonight is that every home should have a working smoke detector. KBC 9's Brian Johnson spoke with Judy Kashka, who lost her granddaughter in a fire three years ago. He's live with her story. Brian? Yeah, it was during a sleepover at another person's house that eight year old Taylor Jackson lost her life in a fire. The family made these bracelets. Purple was Taylor's favorite color. They say, Taylor, you're home for safety. An important reminder that you can't afford not to have working smoke detectors. They don't think it'll happen to them. For Judy Kashka, every fire death headline sparks the same flood of emotions. Disbelief, horror, I can't believe just a young child just innocently spending the night, and it was so preventable. If the people had had smoke, working smoke detectors, she'd probably be with us today. Taylor would have turned 12 years old. Had a smile that would light up a room. She says her granddaughter was full of life. The eight-year-old loved karate. That she really wanted to win third place. And we said, third place, why don't you try for first place? She says, I've already got a first place medal. I need a third one for my collection. <laughs> and to her, that was completely logical. <laughs> While she cherishes the memories, she mourns, knowing others will experience the same sorrow and shock she still remembers three years after getting the phone call. Somehow the house caught on fire and Taylor had 100% second degree burns and it just didn't sink in until she finally said, Taylor, Terry called her bug all the time until she said the bug is gone. Kashka says Taylor was the only fire victim in Overland Park in 2011. She's always telling people to get smoke detectors, check them often, and change the batteries, hoping the conversation will spark an end to the tragedy. You can have a fire. It's not. Not just people you read about in the newspaper. It can happen to you. We're a perfect example of that. And, your niece has and Judy Kashka encourages everyone to have a working smoke detector in your garage. Think about it. You've got all kinds of things your lawnmower, your car, oil, gasoline, maybe some paint thinner or lacquer. All of this is flammable. She says many fires start right in the garage, and so it's essential that you have a working smoke detector inside here. Reporting live in Independence, Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News. In addition to smoke detectors, officials suggest to practice an evacuation plan with your family. And we've put all kinds of resources on how to make one at our website. You can just head to KMBC.com.